Let's start with this. Tom Brady obviously has authorized the NFLPA to go ahead and appeal this case to the federal court. Uh, he laid out at least a good portion of his personal defense. Uh, but when we're talking procedure and something that was collectively bargained, how strong is Brady's case? I think he's got a good case, not a great one. And that makes this a tough one to call. He's going to walk in that courtroom and say, yes, the cell phone messages, the general awareness standard. I wasn't given notice of this punishment as well, that the NFL didn't have the right standards or, or consistent standards for measuring those deflated balls. But what's really going to matter is going in there and deciding whether the procedure used to judge this appeal was fundamentally fair. That's going to be the key. And if it wasn't fair and if it wasn't consistent based on other appeals hearings, then that's something that can be overturned. If it was, then it's upheld. All right, what are the realistic chances that he gets an injunction and is allowed to start the season? And if that happens and he were to lose his case, could we see him serving the four-game suspension later in the season? What are the scenarios? Yes, that could happen. What would happen is he'd have to march into court and say, I want to, his strategy is going to be, I want a, a, a temporary injunction, a preliminary one, while you guys decide this case in federal court. The standard there is going to be, does he have a significant chance of winning his case? If a judge sees it that way, then you stop his punishment, you let him play, and you decide that case. But if a judge takes a while to decide this thing into week six, seven, eight, and he decides to uphold the NFL's decision, he or she does, then Brady would then serve those four games at that point in time during the season. So what it really depends on is what a judge decides in this case. The parties have an interest in getting this thing over quickly, but when you bring it to federal court, now you're dealing on a judge's schedule, and who knows what that can be like. All right, so would you expect that the text from this destroyed cell phone would be subpoenaed? How critical are those? They could be subpoenaed, they could be critical, but they're not a game changer in this issue, and it's because of what the guest mentioned before. This is about process, a little less about the, the substance of the hearing. For a federal judge, he gets all the he, he or she gets all the he said, she said, oh, you think you did this, and that person didn't turn over that. What they care about was, what well, was the procedure fair? So arguments like, well, we only had four hours to prepare when the NFL let us know a couple days before that that would be all the time we would have that threw off our case or the way the hearing was constructed constructed or the way Roger Goodell used his decision making power that's going to be part of this of course for the NFL the big part of all of this article 46 gives Roger Goodell the ability to hear the case in the way that he did and make the decision even though he was the person who handed down the penalty so the NFL PA has always said well why wasn't there a neutral arbitrator in this case Roger Goodell is going to point to that CBA and say, this is why, and courts, that's why you have to uphold this decision. Well, and that's something that the Patriots voted for. Uh, most of the teams in the NFL voted for that collective bargaining agreement, and right. that particular clause is something that they agreed to. Therefore, is a federal court really going to usurp that and, and step in and say that that's not right? And let me ask you about this. As the league has uh, filed to confirm the suspension in Manhattan, and the NFLPA is looking Looking at either Massachusetts or Minnesota, I mean, is, how important is it where this case is actually heard? It could be critical. What the NFL looks like they're trying to do is fire a preemptive strike. They know the NFLPA is going to appeal. So they've gone to a court in Manhattan and said, declare that our judgment is right based on the principles of labor law. So once they get that declaration, their hope is now the NFLPA can't move it to another jurisdiction to try to hear it there. For the NFL Players Association, the idea is go to a friendly courthouse, possibly in Massachusetts, or go mm -hmm. to Minnesota, where Judge David Doty has issued rulings in favor of the Players Association before. Maybe you're going to get a more friendly ear for your preliminary injunction or your overall case. So the Players Association will still make those moves, but the NFL is hoping to head them off at the pass by getting this kind of deal. Really quickly, uh, Ryan, my last question. Is it possible yeah. that this could be resolved before the season? I think it is. I think everybody's got an interest in getting this thing done. And if you find a judge who can decide these issues quickly, and they're not that complicated, was the process fair? Let's look at the hearing. Let's see that part. If you get that done, this thing is done with before the season starts.